Hi everyone, it's Lehman with Lace Covered Skies. I am here with a tutorial video. I was working on these envelopes and I posted some videos about them and I got some requests for a full tutorial. So today I'm going to be doing the full tutorial for these envelopes from start to finish. So let's go ahead and get started because it's going to be a long journey. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I do is I glue two book pages together. So what I like to do, and I talk about this in my crafting efficiently video, is that I like to glue the pages together when they're still in the book. So I'll just go ahead and grab a glue stick. and it's so easy to just glue these pages and they will be sewed so sewn so i don't need to be that thorough with a glue stick but it's so easy to do it this way so i'll go ahead and glue them together generally i'll do this for a whole bunch at a time but after and then so they'll be dry by the time I'm ready to use them but I will go ahead and do that and then let me go ahead and just kind of make sure it's there we go then I will go ahead and cut them out of the book that wasn't too loud my light just fell <laughs> all right let's see if we can get this back up here all right this light gives me problems I need to find a better way to secure it okay I'm so sorry I hope that wasn't too loud all right so I will then Trim the edge. All right. After we trim this edge here, and we have a piece of paper to work with, I will then corner punch the paper if I can find my corner punch and then I go ahead and I fold it so this gets folded and you can just eyeball it so that you have a good space to put things into the envelope. And you just kind of eyeball it. And then you fold the flap down so that it's not it gives you room to slip things in and out of the pocket. Let me zoom in just a little bit. So I fold it down about that much and then score it. After I am done with that step, I will go ahead and die cut it. Let me grab my die cutting machine. I'll zoom out for this part. All right, so can you guys see? Okay, that's good. 
I use this die set. This was someone also asked about this. It's a Spellbinders card creator. And this number up here is S5-171. And it says A2 curved matting basics A. So I'm not sure what is going to identify if you want to look for this. But I love this set. It has rounded corners so it's kind of like it's cutting a rectangle but it's already corner punched for you and i use these two sizes so these are the two smallest sizes and what i do is after i've i wonder if the glue is dried let's hope it's dried um after I fold it, go ahead and turn it to the side where it's going to open from. And I take the smaller die of the two that I pulled out. And I'm going to go ahead and run it through. So you're putting it where you would in like a junk mail envelope where you would see the window. So I'm putting it kind of like in the lower right hand corner. Make sure it's on there pretty straight. And let's go ahead and roll it through. rolling it back because I don't have room to continue forward then after I do that I fold the envelope back up so that I am looking at the side that's a hole and I'm going to go ahead and put this die which is the next one up in size I'm going to put it like right in the middle and that's just because I like doing the holes like that. You can put them anywhere you want. You can follow a junk mail envelope if you'd like. Just whatever works for you. That's not too loud. All right, now that we're done with that part, let me move this out of the way. And there you have that. So the windows overlap. I like that they overlap. And then the next step is to cover these windows. And I'm using acetate. I printed on these transparency pages. And what I do is I'm going to sew this down. But I like to first um, glue it down lightly because I don't want to um, struggle while I'm sewing. So I just go ahead and take my glue. I use art glitter glue because it's plastic, but actually it's not doing any, it's not having any real function because you're going to glue it down. So you don't need this type of glue. So I go ahead, press that down. Then I take this one. And I'm, again, going to do it in the corners. And, and I'm just making sure it's right side up for when the viewer is looking at it. 
So go ahead and press that down. Now the next step is to go ahead, well, let me go ahead and cap this first because glue problems, you know. All right, so the next thing is to take this to the sewing machine and run a stitch around the acetate because that's what's gonna hold it. And then run a stitch around the other one. And then I use a straight stitch for both of these. After that, since I'm at the sewing machine anyways, I will run a zigzag stitch this way. Now that's it, that's all I do for now. So I run a straight stitch around both pieces of the acetate over the window and I do a zigzag stitch down here. I'm not gonna go to my sewing machine for real, but I have a piece prepared that's at this step. So as you can see, I went to my sewing machine earlier and I ran a stitch, a straight stitch around the acetate and then I ran a zigzag stitch down this way. Now the next thing that we do is we sew the envelope closed. So you're going to already be at your sewing machine. You're going to run a stitch. I, I do it this way. I do zigzag down this way, zigzag across this way, zigzag this way and zigzag this way. That way it's just closing up the envelope and having a stitch on all sides. So I'm not gonna go to my sewing machine again, but I do have one prepared, which is right here. So I ran a stitch down that way, this way, this way, and this way. So we now have a pocket. All right. Now the next thing that we do is we glue on the French ladies. Probably the funnest part because you start to see it come together. So I have all these French ladies cut already. These are beautiful images and they're from Taylor Made Journals. She's on Etsy and this is the 1920s French ladies set of digitals and I love these. I've cut out quite a few so let me go ahead and see which ones I want to use. I think this is, I like, I like them. And I made my window far enough over that they can fit on here. So what I do when I glue these ladies on is I, I set them on here and then I open the envelope. I set them on there like that and then I go ahead and I open the envelope and I actually draw a line of where I'm gonna cut if I can find a pencil all right let's, let's use a pen so I am going to go ahead and this pen is great, <laughs> but of course when I'm recording a video, it doesn't work. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut across there. And then I go ahead and I close the envelope again. So that I can cut across the bottom as well.
All right. Now I take my art glitter glue and I'm going to sew them on. I mean, so I'm going to glue them on. And I actually should glue the body on first because then I ne I need to know how much room is needed. Actually, I'm going to put a little more glue on this side because I know it's going to go um, where the acetate is. And I'm putting it as close to the edge as I can. And it's not exactly straight. Actually, I'm going to put more glue on then. This art glitter glue dries really fast. Make sure that is straight and then let's go ahead and put glue on here. I'm just lining it up so that it's in the right spot. There we go. And then the last step is to glue, is to attach the fasteners. Now some of this is coming off the edge, so I will go ahead and trim that. Did I say attach the fasteners? I meant attach the closure. All right, so we are going to get this bowl of closures out and I am going to pick closure that I want. I'm really feeling this. I think, oh, but I didn't glue it yet. Um, let's move that to the right bowl. So, let's see what's going to go well on here. That kind of makes it look interesting because it's picking up the yellows and things there. colors. I mean, I do like eclectic sometimes, but I'm not sure if that's working. Kind of like that the black kind of picks up the black on her clothes.
Maybe I like this with with it, but maybe this can be more colorful. I think I like that. Although this is kind of too warm. This is like the part that takes the longest, I think. I think I like that right there. So I think we're going to go with this. I like how that looks. It really ties in that. So I am going to make this hole bigger. It's always so hard to center this hole punching. All right. I am going to be using I think I'm going to use a warm color eyelet because it's going to pull in her dress. All right, so let's go ahead and attach this. Oh, I need to punch the hole for this. So it needs to be pretty centered. I mean, it should be centered, not pretty centered. Let's go ahead and measure it really quick. So, two and a half is the middle of five, right? Although it doesn't look like the middle because they're on this side, but that is the middle, so. And then we're going to go ahead and attach this. That felt not that good. It felt like I barely did anything. And these eyelets are pretty soft, so I was afraid it was messed up, but it's actually pretty good. It's like perfect. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and put a hole in this part of the closure. Putting the closure on can be a little bit confusing. If anyone would like me to do a separate video on just the closure, I use this closure on many of my envelopes. If you would like that, let me know. I know um, this can get like too many steps, so if you like that, I can totally do a separate tutorial on closures alone, or this type of closure, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around three times so that I leave a little tail and then I go once, twice, and three times. I recently just got more of this crochet thread from Hobby Lobby. It's really affordable. It was $2.99 and then they were having a 30% off sale. 
and I've been going through this. This is still my first roll, but I just got another one just in case. Let's go ahead and fasten this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and trim this thread off. And then we start fastening this on here. You guys saw me do a whole bunch of these in one video. So I tie it once and then I tie it a second time. Keep in mind that I like to make things really secure, but this is just paper and if I try to tie it too, like if I try to pull it too tight, it um, can rip the paper. This one is pretty thick book page and it's doubled up so it does pretty well but for some of the other thinner papers it I've ripped through before where the eyelet just comes off so that's and now that that's like the third knot this is going to be the fourth knot And let me just go ahead and trim that off as well. I love these scissors because they kind of curve in like this and it makes cutting the thread really easy on here. So I turn the curved edge towards, towards the thread so I can really get in there and just snip it off. All right. So there we have it. It just goes, it wraps once, twice, and then this one, I cut the thread kind of long, so it actually wraps around three times, which is cool. It's fine, two or three times is what I aim for. And there we have it. I really like how that color ended up turning out that really ties in her dress and the yellows and this little floral part um, ties in the window right there so yeah I got a, a bunch of new subscribers from these videos um, of me crafting it was like a craft along I think and I just want to thank you guys so much for checking out my channel, checking out the videos. Um, I'm so happy to have you here. I hope this more complete tutorial helps you if you want to make this. Um, so thank you to my new subscribers. And as always, thank you to all my old subscribers. You guys watch my videos and comment and it makes making these videos so worth it. So thank you so much. If you liked this video and if you like my tutorials, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, please make sure that you're subscribed. And thank you so much for watching today. And I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone.